Hey guys, I'm in the vehicle on my way to the tire shop. Patrick's in front of me on his motorcycle. We are headed to the tire shop. We need to take care of business there. And then, guys, we are gonna go do a little bit of meat shopping. Whoops, where you going? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're on my little dash cam. We have an event this weekend. We are going to be able to open the trailer back up just for the weekend. Guys, we have not cooked or served out of that trailer since March, since the corona first started. So it has been a while. And I think Patrick is really excited um, to be able to cook again. Uh-oh, he's stopping. You okay? Follow you back home? You may follow you back home. Do you want to go back and get your truck? Okay. Look, we're turning around. Choke was stuck? Oh, okay. If you feel safe, I'll follow you. Okay, all's good. All's good. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh. There he goes. He thinks it's going to be okay, so I'm just going to follow him. Okay. So, I don't remember what I was saying and I can't go back and watch the video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to pick up where I left off. Um, we are headed to the tire shop and uh, to take your business there and then we're headed to get meat because we are gonna be working in the barbecue trailer this weekend. And of course, you guys know me, I will video. I will video what I can, but I will video so that you guys can see it back in uh, operation. So um, I was working at my sewing machine today, filling orders and replenishing sock and he was outside cleaning it out. So anyway, we'll get what we need today. Tomorrow we'll start prepping or I'll start prepping my part. And then um, Saturday we'll be ready. We will be ready to set up. And I'm excited about it. I know he's excited about it. Uh, it'll be so much fun. Two and one, filling up two and one here. He doesn't even know I'm recording. <laughs> okay guys, I think this is where I'm going to wind this down because I've got Chloe early from school. She's got an eye appointment. Which street do I turn down? This one I believe is the right one. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going in my own town. I just don't know which street. Yeah, that's it. We're here. We need to go in. It's a hair mess. <laughs> The verdict on Chloe is she needs glasses. She's nearsighted. So in about a week and a half, she'll get her glasses and she'll be able to see the world. And I shared with her my story. Oops, both hands on the wheel. I shared with her my story when I first had my an eye exam when I was about her age. Um, and how when I first put my glasses on, I could see the leaves on the trees. And I was so excited. So I'm really happy for her that she's going to be able to see the world uh, in its vibrance. So I'm on my way to tonight's little group gathering meeting thing with some people. I've not been to this particular one before. I'm a little nervous because <laughs> I mean I'm going to know the people there but not all of them. But anyway I'm going to share something crazy with y'all. I feel like I need to share something crazy <laughs> with you guys. When you guys are around your towns or in your neighborhoods does your heart ever just kind of um, feel burdened for maybe certain people or certain areas? Um, there's one particular area 
uh, on my way into town, like down our, you know, little road that we take, um, there's one particular area that feels like it has a looming darkness over it. And just recently, I felt the need to, like, say Jesus as I drive right through there. So, before, I used to turn my music up really loud because it's worship music. And as I drove by, and I, and I thought, I hope the darkness hears this worship music. I know this is crazy, y'all, but this is what I really did. Um, and so, now, um, when I drive by... Um, my kids think I'm crazy. I will just go put my hand up. Nothing, nothing crazy. I mean, it, it seems crazy, but nothing like really crazy. And when I drive by, I say, Jesus. And just like that, I'm right through there. That little area that I feel like needs Jesus. <laughs> so... I'm throwing this out to someone that will catch it because wherever you're at, wherever you live, maybe you drive by certain places every day and you know the people need Jesus. Well, as you drive by, lift your hand just to the Lord. You don't have to do it real crazy. You know, just lift it a little bit. Maybe you don't want to lift it and just speak his name as you drive by. Try that. Try that for a while. It also makes you feel good. <laughs> it also makes you feel good inside because you're like speaking, you know, Jesus. You're speaking that name. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day.